Hey, what's up, Internet? Jake Lyons here. I just wanted to check in with you real quick and let you uh, just update you on a couple things going on in my life as a real estate agent these last few weeks and how I have lost several deals on purpose and potentially lost a couple clients because of it and why I'm actually happy about this, okay? So to start off with, uh, you should know that I get just as much satisfaction out of explaining to my clients why they should not purchase a property as I do why they should purchase a property. And the reason for that is because I think that any salesman can come up with a reason why you should buy something, but it takes a real advisor to come up with a reason why you should not buy something or why you shouldn't do something or whatever the case may be. So, you know, I've had a couple clients that were, uh, that, that jumped in head first, ready to, uh, get into some, some property investments. And, you know, we would see these places and they'd be all in ready to go, you know, ready to pay pretty much whatever their, whatever the asking price is. Um, like, let's go, let's submit this offer, you know? Um, what do you think we should offer kind of thing? And I was like, okay, cool. Um, I'm glad you're excited about it. It's a nice place. Uh, let me, let me run back to the office and, uh, run some numbers and I'll, you know, let, let you know what I think. And so I would, and you know, something would come back, like for example, you know, like a place that is, um, on the market for 400,000. I look into the numbers and it's like, man, this place, they're really swinging for the fences here. I th I don't think this place is worth more than like 320 based on what I'm seeing. And you know, maybe there's a, a basement unit that's um, potentially illegal and might cause these problems down the line and, you know, different things like that. And, um, you know, this would go on for a little while until the client just kind of uh, would lose interest or, you know, start start being dormant. Theoretically, maybe they found a realtor who's telling them things that they, they want to hear or, you know, maybe they just were never that serious to begin with, which either, I guess, is, is fine. Um, but... You know, for, I know some of you probably know this, uh, most probably don't. Before I got into real estate, I was actually a Series 7 licensed financial advisor where uh, when you're a financial advisor like that, you have a fiduciary responsibility to your clients to always do what's in their best interest, and they take it very seriously. Um, you know, you have to report to FINRA, you have to, when you, when you recommend a investment of any kind, you have to fill out all these forms uh, justifying why you recommended this particular investment to this particular person based on their particular goals and situations and all that kind of stuff. You know, real estate doesn't have anywhere near that kind of oversight, but that is still what's baked into my head as just the correct way to go about things uh, from a professional standpoint, not to mention from just a personal human standpoint. So, you know, that's um, something that I, that that's, um, that's my mentality and I don't apologize for it. And, you know, I'm not going to lie, like as the, the lifestyle of a Chicago real estate agent, the, the glamorous lifestyle of a Chicago real estate agent isn't really, hasn't really been happening yet. You know, I, we're still, we're still renting in the meantime until we can afford to do our own, um, real estate investing. My 10 year old Nissan Versa is broken down. So I'm driving my wife's 10, uh, 12 year old hand-me-down baby blue Toyota and I'm not saying any of this as a complaint. In fact, I live a absolutely charmed and blessed life that I thank God for every single day. What I am saying that for is I know for an absolute 110% fact that in, you know, in the situation I described but in countless others, you know, that's just the, the most recent one of a couple of days ago. This happens all the time. Um, if I had been just a little sleazier, just a little looser with my standards for myself as a professional, um, you know, to, to, to quote Arnold Schwarzenegger in the movie, in that Pumping Iron documentary, if I had just given the wrong advices just a little bit, my uh, bank account would be a whole lot better off. And, um, but I'm glad that I didn't do that. I will never do that because I'm building... I'm building this thing on not a, you know, a, a foundation of stand of these, you know, quick transactional, quick sale kind of, kind of things. Um, you know, I'm building, I'm building this business on a foundation that's going to last of a book of clients that are going to be able to forever stay Jake Lyons, that guy, he's a, he's an advisor. He's a real advocate. You know, he's a partner in this. 
He's going to tell you the things that you need to hear, not the things that you want to hear. And so that's where I'm coming from with all that. Um, I guess I'll step off my soapbox now. It's a, this is the first sunny day that we've had in like two weeks, and I have a couple, couple videos I want to go shoot. So I'm going to do that. Keep on the lookout for those. And um, yeah, if you've made it this far, thanks for listening. And have a great day.